Okay, it's Saturday, 2024, whatever date it is, I don't know. 5 October, there we go. Clements 13 in Bulgaria, all right? Not the bottom one, just these two. But I want to show you that I ordered these recently and I got them and they were not clockwise motors, all right? Likewise for you, ordered these two orange ones, but not the bottom one, okay? These came from, these two here came from Bulgaria, right? So, I made a video about the two that were delivered, and that's about all I know. So now, I've ordered from ELEC Elements 13 in eBay before, and I've been working on the Sanyo, I'm sorry, not the Sanyo, the, what was it, the Brother OT44, 448, so I think that's right, it's over there, I just, brought it back from there. But anyway, I went all through that. I needed a clockwise motor. So what I have here set up is here's a little battery just holding my wire in place to keep it from moving. And uh, I'm playing a Sanyo M7770K. And I'm playing the CD, but I'll just show you that if I put a cassette in and hit like that and hit play, and then flip it from line in to radio. Whoops. That's the radio. And that's the tape. So just to give you. But I'd rather listen to the CD player, which I have right here. Okay, there's the CD player. It's on track six. Okay, so you can stop. And, well, I'll just leave it in there. But back to the radio. Line in. Okay. So now that I've established all that, this is a package, you can turn that down. Okay, so that's just some background something, I don't know how loud it is or whatever. Now, this is a package I got, uh, I had to, okay, wait, that's what I want to do. I want to zoom this in, right? So, I've already pre-zoomed this, wait, and zoom that one in too. Okay, so there we go. Now. Got my little electrical setup here, and I don't really have a high-tech thing. I've got a, I've got a multi-voltage, one-amp power supply plugged in down the floor, and it just doesn't matter on the, but it's set for 12 volts. And here's a little motor with a fan blade stuck on here that came off of this USB thing. But anyway, so if I just, and this is clockwise, so. I'll do this a couple times. See how that goes clockwise? Now this motor will go both directions, but what I need is a motor that travels this way. Okay, not counterclockwise. And the only way to illustrate that is put this little propeller on here that you see it like that. So, once again, that's clockwise. And that's it. Now here are my two, I don't know whether these positive or negative, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is it has to, it has to travel clockwise from this package. So here I'm going to open this package. I got this, you know, from Bulgaria. I had to sign for it prior, whatever, it came from Bulgaria. So I need some scissors, here's some scissors. 
Alright, so let's oh, I don't know if you can hear me over the noise of that, but okay, so I want to open this on camera. So here we go. Opening this from Bulgaria, eBay. We got a little box there. And we've got another box. And we've got a business card. And we've got another box. So three boxes and a business card. I'll let you ooh, wait. <clears throat> so Okay, great. So, <clears throat> let's see here. So, I'll let, I'll let you see this business card up close briefly. Just here you go. Let's see here. Will it focus? There, if you can see that, right, that's who I got this from. And here's a little hacking slip thing. Well, uh, well okay. Won't do that one, but. Here again is the their little business card in case you want to buy motors from them. All right, so it's that's who I bought from, and I've bought from these people in the past a few times. All right, so there you go. <clears throat> so there's that little packing slip, and uh, I think I ordered. Well, I'm going to get to them here and find out just what I got. Let me open this. Oh, well, here, this is labeled. Great. Oh, well, here, let's see. Are they both labeled like that? That's labeled like that. That's labeled like that. This is not labeled. This is the. Okay, so. <clears throat> Alright, so are these both the same? They are both the same. Well, here, let me show these to you. Here. Okay, I don't know. Well, here, let me wide this out. Alright. So this is rather official looking, I think, but if I wind it out, maybe you can, you can see it. Hopefully you can see it, just pause and read it. Okay, but here, if I can get, anyway, they're both similar, right? Let me do that over here for this one, okay, so, okay, so, I can't see it. Okay, it's fuzzy. All right, so let me wind out. All right, well, okay. Okay, well, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, I don't know, but hopefully that's good enough that they're the same thing. Okay, so, now, wide this back in, all right, out there. Wide that one back in about there. Okay, great. So now, let me open these. So these would be identical, right? So, if I open, oh, we're taped up. This is sealed. So, maybe I should be using a knife rather than trying to hurt myself with a pair of scissors. Let's see here. Okay, so, well, Really old tape. <laughs> okay, that's in there. I have to open both sides, I guess. So, funny thing is, these are Hitachi motors. Normally, you would find a Mabuchi or a Mitsu. I can't remember the names anymore. Not a thank you, it's not a, okay. So either the little triangle thing or it's the, the blue stickered one or gosh knows. It's just hard to get into. Oh, well, there we go, let's open one in. <laughs> I thought it flopped open like that, but it didn't, so here we go. wrapped it around here and shoved it in a box would be okay, but no, they had to put more tape on here. There we go. This comes with a reel. Okay, so this is the 
Okay, so here I'll show you. Well, okay. Once again, back to the thing. So, wait. I'm zoom out so you can see this, right? Hopefully it focused if not, I can't see because I'm sitting too far away, but okay, anyway. You zoom that back in. Alright. Okay. Maybe I zoom in and that's what I could do. I could just zoom in rather than let's see, is that upside that's upside down. Alright, so here if I zoom out, right? Maybe you can see it. Okay, maybe not. Alright, let's try it like this. There's like two cameras going. I put it there and zoom this all the way in, right? Okay, so there is great. So if I move this over, hey, there we go. That'll work. So you can read that, right? And then, okay, and then if I turn this one this way and zoom that in and put it. That's the limit of zooming, so just look at that, let's see here. Um, that help? Okay, that should be what it is. And then I'm zoomed all the way in over there. And so, there you go. There you can, I can see it now. That's what it is, that's what I ordered. 13.5 and that's the model number. Okay, great. So now, now let me wide back out. Alright, so wide out. Okay, great. And then this one, wide out. Okay, so now I got here with my little patch cords again and I have to pull this off. Well, I wasn't. Okay. okay. I won't be able to use. Well, <laughs> okay. How do you get these things off? Right, I guess I have to just... There we go. Okay, great. There's actually two pulleys. Okay, it's actually two pulleys together, but anyway, that's either here or there. Okay, great. So, because it doesn't have... Okay, so, I take my propeller off of here, get rid of that. This is a um, 12 volt clockwise motor, may have 6 of 82, but it runs too fast, which is why I got these. I'm going to put this on here. There we go. So this is we're going in the. Okay, so now we will take this little clip thing here, put it on there. I could take the time to solder wires on, but I just want to try it like this. So there's that one. Now, nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. So that's definitely clockwise. amount of air pressure on me feels like, I mean it's not super fast like the other motor, but let me just switch these leads here and go on the other lead over here and see if it goes in reverse any faster or slower or if it goes in reverse. Oh wow. So this goes really fast in counterclockwise. Here, let me turn this off. How about just give you a listen to the motor? So, that really goes fast. Mom has a TV set on the background, so if you hear that somebody talking, it's a TV set. Okay. <clears throat> And this one is not much noise at all, but 
it definitely moves air in the right direction. So hopefully this will work in the, um, all right, and then I'm not going to open this other one because it's identical to that, I'm sure. Oops. We will check out this one little $10 motor that I got from them, which just pulls out. And it's also clockwise, but the only question about it was is that it didn't mention in the listing what the voltage was. So, without knowing what the voltage it could be, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, why did it make this so darn difficult to get into? It's just a motor, people. Alright, so, come on, there we go. Alright. Here it is, a little flat. Oh, crud. Okay, the same, well, this has a case around it, and it looks just like that, but the motor, the adjustment hole is off by a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, so. But again, I have to. Okay, I need a bigger screwdriver to get that brass thing off there because it's no good to me without on there anyway, so we'll just Wow. I need a gear puller. I don't have one. Okay. Um hmm. Let's ruin the gear. Okay, get me a pair of pliers here. Okay, come on. There we go. Pair of pliers. Alright. I'll just see if we can just pull this off of here. Oh my god, that's on there. Oh wow. Um my god, did they I'd have to go outside to the garage for a vice grip or for a bench vice, but I still don't have a really big screwdriver up in here. Let's see here. I don't have a slide hammer either. Oh, I could do it like I could do it like that. I could bang this on the ground. Let's see here. Let's try that. Look you here, this. Freedom. Okay, we don't know. Yep, that did it. That got it loose. And God, that thing is really the heck on there. halfway through, but it's still got a lot of force holding this on here. Still rotates. <laughs> okay, I need a bigger pair of pliers. Will this work? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Bang it some more. There it goes. Okay, finally got that off of there. Great. Alright, so now let's get our happy propeller and put it on here. There we go. And the hole lined up now. So this little metal case is not much holding this motor in place, but okay. So once again, we'll take. We don't know which is which. But this whole motor is now loose inside of here, but... Um, 
and this case, okay, funny thing is this metal case, okay, this case has, has got the correct kind of holes in it, but then the underneath it's got, well, it's, it, it, I should be able to remove the case of what I'm saying and still be able to screw it, mount it in a cassette deck properly. But this is just, I've never come across something like this, so. Wow. This is clockwise and, okay. So it's clockwise. Let's see if it goes the other direction. So there's that. And so this is stronger in counterclockwise than it is in forwards, but um, okay. Well, I hope that this motor here will work for my application because it's a 13.5 volt motor, which is what the Sanyo MR X5, aka uh, Sanyo 720, aka brother OT448, all the same thing. Here we go. So hopefully this will work. And um, yeah, that's got some torque to it. Hard to stop the motor. So that should drive the belt in that and of course it's got the uh, thing in the back so anyway that's all I wanted to bore you with I will take this camera here off its tripod and just show you ever so briefly but yeah here is the um, here is the that and I'm going to try to put it into okay and I've got these Iowa's and Lord knows what's here. There's a JBC and my other stuff. Okay. And there's that camera. All right. So good day. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Gotta go. Bye-bye.